G'day, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to go over noise reduction working with film grain. So in a previous video, we talked about where you should place your noise reduction in a node tree, but today we're gonna to talk about where you put that film grain in your node tree. So someone commented on my previous video, which you should check out, the four people who watched it really enjoyed it, where you should put your film grain, and I thought it would be a good thing to talk about on the channel today. Here we have our very basic grade here of some 4K raw footage shot near my house. I don't live in the bush, this just looks like I do. We're gonna do noise reduction at the front of our node tree and film grain at the end. Then we're gonna swap over to a different version of the exact same grade with the exact same amount of noise reduction on it. And we're gonna put film grain at the front and we're gonna see if that makes a difference at all to our footage. Now, obviously it is gonna make a difference, but how much I think will be quite surprising to you all. So first of all, let's do it from the one that's gonna be last. So we're gonna have the noise reduction at the start and film grain at the end. Now to check on that film grain, all you have to do is come up to effects and then just type in FI because we're lazy and then chuck that film grain on your film grain node here. Now let's pump it right up to make it really obvious. So 16 millimeter, 500T. Let's put this grain size right up, the strength right up. This is obviously gonna look pretty bad, but that's okay. We're not looking for a good looking film grain. We're looking for a obvious film grain. So bring it up even more. Now we have a lot of grain, but I reckon we could actually go more. So take out the softness of this grain and let's go to advanced controls. Let's take it out of the shadows, push it up in the mid-tone some more, push it up right in the highlights. Because as we all know, grain doesn't live in the shadows, it lives in the old highlights. Alrighty, so as you can see, we have a lot of film grain. So hopefully that should be obvious enough on YouTube. Actually, you know what? Let's push it up even more. So bring up the grain size even more and the strength even more. Looking more like it's Super 8 film, but that's okay. So now we have a lot of film grain on our footage. Looks quite terrible. I would never do it this much, but that is okay. Let's get rid of this and we don't need this garbage anymore. Now let's turn on our noise reduction and see if it affects that film grain that we've chucked on. So that noise reduction hasn't actually really affected our film grain whatsoever. In fact, if we turn that node off, but before we turn that off, let's save a still of it. So Control Alt G. Now let's turn the noise reduction off and see if it makes a difference at all. And while we're waiting for it to render, let's go up to our gallery, double click it. And then what we can do is push it across. Let's get rid of this garbage again. We have that previous look that we've done before we put the noise reduction on. And if we move it back and forth, it's not making a difference at all. Now I'll go to a different part in the frame. That noise reduction hasn't actually affected our film grain whatsoever. So putting your noise reduction at the front of your node tree won't affect your film grain, which is a really important thing to know. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go across that other version. So let's use this film grain. So control C to save it. Now go across control B. Now in this node here, control V, lots of controls going on. So our film grain has been chucked on. We got that really nice, ugly looking grain going on. It looks fantastically bad. Let's go to our noise reduction node. But before we do that, let's grab an image of this. So control G again. Alrighty, so now we have that still saved. We can actually rename it, otherwise we'll forget. We'll call it film grain one with an M in it, because that's how you spell film grain. Again, this is what our image looks like with that ugly film grain placed on it. So now let's turn on the noise reduction and see what kind of effect that has on our film grain node. So with that film grain at the front of our node tree and the noise reduction last, we can see that it's really destroyed any of that film grain that was working before. Now it looked ugly before, but now it looks even worse. So this is not an image that would work at all when it comes to color grading. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that if we're using film grain, we have to make sure that it goes last when it comes to putting noise reduction, as in noise reduction should go in the front. Otherwise, we're gonna get a really ugly image. Now let's do a comparison of each version. So come up to split screen up here. So the one on the left, that is our footage where the film grain's at the front. And then the one on the right is where our film grain is at the end. So after that noise reduction, and obviously before that noise reduction. So a massive difference in images. And I think that's really important to know when it comes to putting film grain on your image, how much that noise reduction really affects the end result. So I hope that's helped in any decision you make when it comes to noise reduction. It's just a quick little follow up. Someone commented and I thought it was a really good comment and I thought I'd make a video about it. So thanks for watching. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions and have a great day.